Okay, I have no idea where to go for something like this. Do you ever do photo shoot at the weekends? And I'm concerned about my budget. Okay, right? Very short and, and, and simple. Okay, I have no idea where to go for someone like this. That means erotic photography and that means erotic videos. And what can I say if I could advise who is shooting the same content in the style and, and, uh, and provide the same services? I could advise, okay? I personally do not know any woman in the UK shooting, making love scenes without limitation, providing all the footage, creating photography and videos, okay, and doing editing, post-production, okay, on photography and on videos. It is very important to understand that photo shoot con the photo shoot contents start from preparation, Okay, then you create uh, scene scenarios, you know, ideas, fantasies, and then the last part is the editing. Okay, the editing part could be very basic or could be uh, more complicated, and uh, how to say it involves a lot of um, softwares. Okay, and it can in involve a lot of time. Okay, to edit. Okay, so I just wanted to know what that is the erotic photo shoot right and how it's done so basically if i would know where people could go with someone like this i would definitely direct them there i i i am receiving many questions like that and people from different countries you know asking me do i know anyone in their country or can i help them you know to direct and the answer is no the only options you can have is uh studios that create porn content i do not uh, create porn content but i shoot without limitations okay that means that you can make making love scenes and i am actually directing those scenarios i am creating a shooting plan and i am executing it and like i said also editing this so i don't know any woman who do that much okay i'm sorry but i can't reply to this question properly do you ever do shoots on the weekends yes i always shoot on the weekend there are a lot of people who are free on the weekend and they want to use that time to create a photo shoot they do not want to take the days working days off but what i've realized is that the weekend photo shoot should have a weekend extra charge on it okay like 20 or 30 percent on top of it okay because usually my weekends are mine okay and i also have kids and i would like also to have weekends with those kids and not working okay so i think that i i should update that information on my price list and my on one website because that's what i wish for and i am concerned about my budget that is a very good uh, question, not question, a statement is that um, in the studio, okay, you can shoot on a specific budget and your photographer would try to fit in, okay, the things that you can get, okay, and, uh, you know, how to say, tailor to your needs and, and uh, look at what you want and look at what you actually can afford basically okay what happens in erotic photography very often okay they have money for a bicycle but they want to receive a rolls royce okay and that is very often case okay and people who would find me most of the time would be looking for some kind of a discount and and, and so on and so on so budget is a very I have to say questionable thing because when you are in a creative mode okay the budget should be limitless okay if you want a full-on experience okay when i just have a certain amount you know to spend and to service you for me it is very hard to fit in the budget and that's why i've created certain packages okay which i know what i'm making okay and uh, for too many people in general I explain a very simple way. I ask, do, do they ever model? 
are they a professional models? Have they have an experience? Have they been in the studio before and know everything and they're confident, okay? How they feel about themselves, okay? Can they perform? Are they brave? Are they, how to say, open-minded and, and so on and so on. So the problem with this budget thing is that usually people never try this okay never done anything like that it is really hard for them they have to go through a lot of inner barriers like shyness and securities and blocks and and uh, in general they're nervous okay and for people like that of course you burn a lot of calories and you waste much more time okay so imagine when you're shooting someone who is very confident and imagine who who is very shy and feeling awkward and um, and how to say and scared okay so of course automatically your shoot extends and become longer okay and someone needs to pay for that extra time when the shoot becomes longer automatically you shoot more the material okay because to make very successful shots with people you need to dedicate time and you need to work with them to try a lot of things and and understand and show them what suits them best okay and when you shoot longer you editing longer so everything is longer okay everything is longer and that is why too many people especially when i know that they had they have not done any photo shoot i'm asking how long it will take for you and they will say, no, okay, maybe one hour and so, you know. And then I speak to them and we establish what is the project. And the project, very often the project or the thing, the gig, you know, what they want to shoot is grandiose and they want, you know, amazing results. And to have amazing results, you need to put some effort, okay? You need to put some time and uh, you just need to shoot, right? So people are not uh, aware of many things about what it takes to create erotic photography and in general create art. Okay. And I have, I have came across this too many times. Okay. So I, I can't not to mention it. Okay. And the thing with the budget is that people who are on the budget, they would like to have few pictures, but for that few pictures, they do of course have a very high expectations. And to have even five or ten images, really good ones standing out that, you know, how to say world class, the best of the best, right? You at least need to shoot hundred, okay? Especially when you never done uh, anything like that, your body is stiff, your personality cannot open, you know, straight away, right? So people do not know this, but <laughs> it's... It can happen by chance, okay, and, and it can happen that you straight away will get successful shots, but it's very rare occasion. I'm sorry. It is very hot, okay, it's like hot in the studio, it is very hot and I can't be without the water, okay? Okay, look at that. We can find a situation what works perfect. Could you meet me before the shoot to get familiar with you and pay the deposit? Okay. So another thing is people can set up the time. Okay. So some people would like to come and bring the deposit. Usually, okay, there are rules which I would like to hold on to. Deposit is very easy payable you know, via bank, via online PayPal, or, you know, via any kind of a directory which uh, operated with operation makes, makes operation with money. I do not see a particular need for people to come and waste my time, okay? Because what they want is they want to come here, hang around, you know, spend half an hour on one hour. I usually use a video call or, or a to discuss a photo shoot okay and it lasts 10 minutes okay so uh, how to say there are clients who will invite me for dinners or for drinks or for something to hang out with me i don't do that okay unless you have a very big project 
okay and you are not a budget client okay? because there are budget clients who would like to negotiate you you know and how to say skin you to the bone or have a half of the shoot and then they would like to come and 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 chill here in the studio for another hour and and just you know i am not doing that anymore okay so yeah deposit is payable online and if people would like to have a contact and make sure that i am matching as a photographer their needs they can do it via video right now like i'm doing here or via phone call right so that's where i am more free you know <laughs> and i can organize my life and my day okay shooting with the stranger you inside also all right again no, exactly okay why only girls why only go okay my biggest worry is all thought i'm fairly good looking i don't have a perfect physique and i am not too well and double okay that's a very popular very popular question when uh, male auditorium okay men inquiring about the photo shoot and they straight away telling that they are not happy about their body that they are not models or athletes or you know exercising or whatever looking after themselves they are not happy with their body but uh, you know the situation is okay okay and another issue is that they do not think that they would have a how to say a, a big um, cock right very often seriously very often i get this uh i get this message from men and it is not related to your size it's more relates to your confidence okay and that is clearly a confidence issue and very often we discover that his size is not too small but normal okay but very often people who worry about their size during their during their photo shoot okay in their head they compare themselves with the size huge okay it's like you have a really short girl model right who wanna be all you know who, who always dreamt about being really tall okay and i do not understand uh, from how to say if i'm looking at at this situation with maturity yes they need to just get over it, okay? They would never be tall. I know that actually you now can have a procedure where you can lengthen and extend your bones to have longer legs. Oh my gosh, you know, it's a very painful, uh, pain, painful procedure, but I do not suggest anyone to go and do anything. I would suggest to do some kind of a therapy or um, speak with someone to because in a photo shoot i will take pictures and and i don't need to explain anything you see the man sees that he is a normal size okay even if during the shoot they are how to say they are worried they are complaining and they are convinced okay that they are not enough okay you see the photography doesn't lie and very often it shows that it is a regular normal size okay and that's true when the man during the photo shoot cannot make an erection okay that is another issue another psychological issue of course is related to subconscious mind and the blocks in there again i had photo shoots when men cannot create any kind of erection no matter how they would try okay i had one guy who was desperate but wasn't able to okay and uh, his time is expired and i gave him some extra time because i really wanted to make him you know erection shots right uh, he was um you know usually people overweight or have a you know big tummy and so on and they already do not like themselves right and then they do not see their erection out there okay so the photographer can help and another thing is mind control okay they the problem is you know and i say to many to many guys you know the direction problem with you is like you are sitting in the car and driving a car and the car is going anywhere and not listening to you 
Okay, that's the erection problem. Okay, it means that he is in this body, but the body is not listening to to him. Okay, he can't do it. Okay, for women it's much easier because how to say um, women have different situations. Okay, but like I say, they would need to resolve this in a special way and very. Uh, how to say popular method I use is I use model tantric model okay and models help okay in these cases you would be surprised okay but especially tantric models who do massage services okay they are able okay to overcome the stress during that photo shoot they're able to relax that person they work uh, body to body, they are new, they are, you know, how to say, hands on the body, they know what to do, okay, and with the tantric models, I never had a successful shoot, okay, so every time when the client is reaching out to me saying that he would like to have a photo shoot, but he is really worried because he he doesn't have, a, you know, a reaction or doesn't doesn't have a big size, okay, and in general have concerns okay about him and about you know all sexuality on all, all, all manhood and so on how he would feel in this situation i always suggest to book a tantric model because with the tantric model i, I say this you don't have to do anything okay there will be a woman and her touch is magical you don't have to do anything she knows how to control men's body okay if you are not capable and there are men seriously there are men that only women know how to control their body if you are not capable to drive your car i have a lady okay and she is really good and she knows how to drive your car okay and so if you want this to happen you need to book this service simple as that okay Okay, so erotic solo shoot has been an ambition of mine. Photographer who can make, who can, I'm looking for photographer who can make me feel at ease and encourage me on the day to show myself. Okay, so it's more than I thought it would cost. Could you give me an idea of what to expect? Okay, so it's more than I thought that it will cost. I would like to stop there. Okay, very strangely, okay, and strange to me, seriously, I receive a lot of clients who would like to create a photo shoot, but they never been in the studio and they do not know how much it costs. Okay, seriously. They never been with the photographer in the studio and they do not know how much it costs dressed, okay? Because to create a photography when you are dressed in London, one picture costs 50 pounds, okay? One image costs 50 pounds, okay? So somehow people think that this is a very cheap, you know, how to say, entertainment, the cheap adventure that they can just come and enjoy and pay pennies, okay? And, and it's so interesting because, how to say, the photographer in general, when it comes to erotic photography, I think, I don't know any other profession than the prostitute or the hooker, you know? <laughs> You know, which would be so much underrated and, and disrespected, you know. The reason why adult models, escorts, you know, how to say, um, I'll maybe come back with the escort models in a separate video because it's a huge topic. If I will start this, I will never end. <laughs> I, I can tell you a lot because I was in adult businesses 2005 and I know a lot and I can tell you about escort models and their situations. So what to expect? Could you give me an idea what to expect from the photo shoot? Okay, this is a very popular topic. Uh, first of all, like I say, people never been in the photo shoot and they don't know what this is. And the second of all, they never heard about the erotic photo shoot. Okay. 
and also they are confused what that is. Many photographers, many photographers, I'm sorry, create erotic photography from their own perspective. Okay, that means that there is no university or a college who actually prepared those professionals for this specific directory. Okay, there are other photographers, but not erotic photographers. Okay, and if you are doing erotic or nude photography, you must understand that every person who is doing so, doing from their own initiative, doing from their own passion, and they did figure out this by themselves. Okay, no one came and no one explained because erotic photography is kind of a banned topic. Okay, it's it's related to a nudity and no one interested to, um, how to say, to add this to an education. Okay, if you will be a photographer, they would be preparing you for fashion, for portraits, for family, for newborn babies, children, you know how to say, weddings, events photographer, product photographer. There are so many photographers out there who are actually being educated to a certain direction except erotic photography, okay? So erotic photography is not a standard photo shoot, okay? And everyone is doing in their own way. I am, uh, uh, how to say... I am very brave photographer because I am shooting men and women. Okay, so the first thing is that not every uh, studio and not every photographer would accept men. Okay, then another very interesting uh, feature is that not many erotic photographers are women. Okay, the reason why the, the, there are not many women, and I know that uh, not many women would do things like me, like me making love scenes, explicit photography, and, and so on and so on, because it's very uh, it's dangerous, okay? It's just how to see people, women do not feel safe in this environment, especially in the sexual atmosphere, in the intimate atmosphere, creating sexual scenarios one-to-one -one with men, okay? You, you seriously have to have balls, you know? I have balls, very big balls. I remember one photographer uh, write me, after he saw my website and, and his message was that he always dreamed about creating such content that he doesn't have balls for that, okay? And I was so laughing from this message because I was thinking, no, maybe then I have a pair of balls, okay, to do that. So, so yeah, so um, to expect, you can expect anything. That's the problem, okay? There is no regulament, that there is no rules, okay? I can just tell you in general how it works, that you will arrive into the studio. These are facilities. Facilities are prepared for different types of the photo shoot and different type, you know, how to say, there are backgrounds, there are designer furniture, there are a lot of sets and so on. So you would be using that. My studio has a big dressing room with outfits, shoes, accessories, props, toys, okay, so that you would not need to bring anything or have anything, right? And I am that person who has a medical background, okay? And so for me to create erotic photography or photograph nude body, I do not have any, uh, how to say, hesitation, okay? I do not judge and I do not hold back, right? And uh, I am the one who is meeting the person, understanding uh, the person needs, why, why anyone would do erotic photography, like right? why, why would you do erotic photography? Everyone has different reasons, you know? Not every time they will say because they're shy and embarrassed, okay? Erotic photography does include this, that um, there is a secret element, okay? Not not every person would say, okay, I have this fantasy, I have this sexual fantasy, I have this fantasy. People don't scared, you know, to talk about this, okay? And you kind of have to feel it and drag this out from them, okay? So that's that's another thing, okay, about erotic photography. And, and then when I will have a connection with my client, is it a single or is it a couple, you know, then we will create a shooting plan. We will discuss the ideas. We will discuss how long it will take and what we will do in those time in those frames. You know, of time, we making 
the content what we've discussed you know and then i'm doing a post-production editing for photography and for a video to deliver a final product okay and that's what people would expect and also i am delivering all the footage all the images that we create i provide to my clients okay which is also very strange because other photographers don't do that okay can you be naked or how you can help oh here we go here we go here we go the most popular questions are related uh, with me being naked or providing uh, any other sexual services to the clients and this is the most popular i've been asked not million not billion but uh, million trillion times okay so the clients only men would always suggest uh, to me some uh, to suggest for me to provide to them erotic photograph erotic services for free okay so they want to pay for photography but they want to, you know to have something extra and that's uh, how to say at, at the start i was offended i was offended all the time you know i was just how to say i was repelled by these people then later i was thinking that it's a, such a strange coincidence because everyone is asking the same thing I, I was just thinking this is probably the biggest fantasy of all you know because seriously if you will have a conversation with the man he would necessarily would like to ask this okay if if there is a chance is any services behind it they would wait okay and uh, and yeah so and um, i heard okay if if you want me to be honest and i always honest i heard that someone in america th there is one or two ladies in america they i heard that they are taking pictures naked i heard that i have not seen i have not witnessed no one gave me the name okay i heard about this and i think maybe it's true why not if there is you know a rumor maybe it's true i have no idea okay but uh, erotic services from the photographer do not include in any way in the photo shoot i'm very serious about my business and, and everyone who would start or try to suggest that will never be my client okay it's just simple as that okay so my help and they will ask how can you help them okay so they are creating a photo shoot are you undressing or how can you help that's why i created a model service okay if people who are helpless and cannot help themselves they should hire a model and pay for this service it's just simple as that okay i have a lot of uh, i have to say i have uh, been approached by endless number of men who are helpless and who needs help during the photo shoot can you imagine seriously and that's so strange that's so strange that men cannot control their penis you know that they need help and i was just thinking maybe they 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 can control but how to say they want some free ride you know on the top of that and they think that this is if they ask it will be available okay so i have another explanation for that okay that's why we have a tinder okay where i don't know 80 percent of population on tinder who lives there they are just for sex they don't care about the person okay they don't really care you know they care about the meat they see in front of them okay and they want to use that meat you know as soon as the meat is not interested or not satisfied enough they move on to another meat okay and that's what we're talking here about right so when you're creating art you would not want to have such clients who do not understand what that is what is the value and what is the goal and what are the reasons okay if someone wants to come to photo shoot to see me naked or how to say to make out with me they better not to show up and they better not to book okay so that's what i can say straight away 
What is the difference between solo and a shoot with the model? Okay. I would say this is a stupid question. Okay. But uh, how to say, I'm answering here. So solo shoot when you are alone on the stage. Okay. And uh, shoot with the model when you are with a gorgeous, sexy model. Okay. And only stupid men would ask me to explain what is the difference when he is alone on the stage shooting and when he is with the sexy model don't you think so okay it's a huge difference it's a basically you know how to say <laughs> sky and earth difference okay what is the difference seriously but yes when you are with the model of course, you are getting service from the model, okay? The model can perform any fantasy you like. The model changing into the sexy clothes. The model is moving gracefully, dancing, kissing you, moving around you. The model is there to compensate your imperfections. The model is there to encourage you. The model is there to advise you. The model is there to shake you up, okay, to stimulate you, okay, to bring your senses up, and of course, create fantasies, erotic fantasies. Can you do a blow job without a model? Or do I need to tell someone what is the difference when you're doing a blow job scene and you are alone, and when you're doing a blow job scene and you are with the model? Does anyone have a question here? Hi, hello. I am talking about erotic photography, okay, and uh, erotic models, okay, sexy models, and I'm creating sexy scenarios and sexy fantasies, and that is something you should come in here and ask about, okay, if you have questions, because now I'm live, so you can, you can give me questions and I can answer to them, okay, so that is the difference. If someone doesn't understand what is the difference to live alone and to live with the hot and sexy woman, then they would, <laughs> then they would probably, how to say, can you imagine what kind of the questions I'm getting? Okay, the next one. Can I show or send nude pictures of the models? Yes. I show and send the, the pictures of the model after they pay for the deposit. Okay, because very often I have so many guys who will just want to see, okay, just want to see. And I will be replying to his email and I will be, you know, how to say, checking on the model, sending the pictures, you know, communicating. Usually, you know, when you are booking the shoot, you are need to actually at least to check with everyone who is around at that time so you would send the pictures what is the point if i will send you the pictures and this girl is not available you understand so i still need to do a research to give you a how to say a selection who are you know more or less available in this month right because imagine if i'll send you five models and none of them and you choose and none of them is available okay what's that the service how is that gonna look okay so that is why when people are serious okay and they understand that uh, how to say i am creating erotic you know fantasies on camera and on film with sexy models i am doing this for free for free I, i'm not doing this for free you know i'm not inquiring i'm not doing any work with the model till i not have a deposit okay Simple as that. I'm not wasting my time here for those interested to see what kind of the girls are there. I, I, I am not. But yes, I am providing the images. Sometimes I even provide the videos. And very often they ask me if I do know the model and what kind of the features or characteristic the model have, how he or she is, you know, in the bedroom and in general in the photo shoot. I provide a lot of information about the model so that you would feel, you know, comfortable and confident about what you're doing. Can model provide the sex service at the studio? Okay. Yes. Yes, but different models provide different service, okay? Some models are dressed in the studio, okay? Some models 
being naked in the studio some models work in the lounge area okay underwear okay and some models provide the sexual services okay some models need to see client picture before they approve if they provide and 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 how to say and book the shoot with this okay and uh, usually when it's involved uh, how to say sexual scenarios and sex of course there will be a protection thing right there will be also me doing a lot of communication between the client and the model so what model would like uh, what kind of service uh, she or he would like to provide, what does he need, and I am that kind of a, like a negotiator, mediator, you know, trying to arrange and agree. And then when they meet in the studio, they have their own private conversation, how they are going to do it, okay? So, you know, and also I am involved because I'm saying, okay, if there is this thing since this, how can we do it? How you would like to start, what, you know, what you would like to wear and so on. So, uh, there are how to say once I, I I remember once we booked a photo shoot for the blow job, okay? <laughs> so the guy booked the blow job, the model arrived for the blow job, agree and so forth. I don't know what happened during the photo shoot, okay? Because we had a photo shoot and the photo shoot starts from you are dressed okay you undressing the model model undressing you you know sometimes model change many times and you have a lot of goes to undress the model so basically i'm shooting warming up you know how to say uh, situation before an actual sense thing it's not a porn studio that you would arrive and 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 have you know a, a penetration straight away unless this is a couple okay i have some couples who are really rushed into the sex many times okay that's fine if they are a couple but usually when a male uh, booking a photo shoot with the hot and sexy model it's never rushed okay there is a long foreplay they shoot a lot of you know how to say ideas together and then like i say it was a blowjob scene and that girl said, no, I don't, I don't want a blowjob scene. I want to have sex. And he says, I don't have condoms. <laughs> and I'm like looking at her thinking, why? That's two different services. Actually, it should be extra for, for, for that, okay? I didn't know why she, why she changed. You know, it's like you ordering a starter, you know, and you paid for the starter and someone brings you main. Okay, these are a little bit two different things. They happened to me, I don't know, a year ago or so, when the girl, I don't know, maybe she liked the client so much or so, she says, no, I want to I wanna do sex, you know? And this guy is, is not ready, and I can see he's a little bit in shock. And I'm saying, no, then, you know, can you do sex? I'll find the condom for you. He was like, yeah, okay, but I wasn't planning to. I say, no, so your model wants that. What can I do? <laughs> you think that I can uh, tell what to do for the model? No, the model is deciding by herself. I can tell you what to do in a photography, in a, in a, how to say, in, in videos. I can tell you what to do in a post-production process. But when you are with model, you are with model. Okay, and if the model said, no, I want this, then, you know, wh what can I do? And so, yeah, and I shot this sex scene. It was so funny. Okay, and the guy was a little bit shocked, but he came another time. He came another time and he had another shoot with another model. It was amazing. Okay, so, yeah. So, I have models from adult business. I have contacts, okay, and the girls are providing adult services it's called girlfriend experience and and the prices for that of course are different right you understand that you would pay a thousand pound to have uh, such service in the studio only just for the model can you hear me only just for the model right okay so can i show can model provide that? Can I show videos like sex porn of other clients? Okay, so some 
and and that is very often question okay so they are asking me can i show them what i've made with other people with other clients and the answer is fucking no i do not send any videos of someone having sex you know and having a nice time with their wife or with their husband so that you can get a new material to jerk off no i am not showing and i am not doing that okay although i have a, a members area okay and at the back of my website where they can pay a really small fee okay but they can't you know i can't show them directly because they will save this uh, footage okay they can have it on their phone they can post it and 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 do whatever they like with them you don't know who is asking okay there are different people so i never send and i never show i'm sorry okay that's another thing okay can i can you do a few shots at the studio very popular question okay people have no money or do not want to spend uh, for the photo shoot and they would send me this question can i have few pictures okay and i always say yes you can have few pictures but you will pay for one hour anyway okay because uh, it's it's not that i'm you know running with the camera on the street and everyone can come and i make uh, you know few pictures no i need to put the lights in the studio i need to prepare everything you know it's a process okay and i don't do few pictures and to get a really great few pictures okay you still need to take 50. no seriously because they are not the model they do not do do not have confidence they do not know how to post they do not know how to create okay erotic scenario so create certain certain ideas so it takes time okay and people think that i uh how to say i can admit them and i give them few pictures very recent example will be this the guy is calling and 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 booking a photo shoot i think he booked yeah he booked somewhere at the end of the august but the conversation we is having this he's saying i really would like to have a photo shoot erotic photo shoot i would like to have an erection shots and come shots okay and he says i just need few pictures okay i just need few pictures i absolutely understand okay that people and very often i hear this they need few pictures and i say to him okay i can make few pictures in three minutes can you come in three minutes he was like no no i need one hour i said well what you think that you will be naked here running around okay with your with your willy in front of me okay the whole hour and i will be working towards you being how to say nervous awkward not confident shy delusional you know usually they come and they want to create a lot you know like seriously they booking for few pictures and they have ideas for the whole day or i i don't know to shoot okay i have a lot of delusional people you know you, you book few pictures you go on the background and that's it you know you don't think that you are going to use the whole studio and run around no so if you're booking a few pictures and i'm saying okay how quickly no no I, i i have a whole hour i said that's why i don't care how many pictures you want you will be you will be buying the whole hour because i can make few pictures in one minute you know so people are very clever you know very clever they want to buy they straight away saying that they want to buy a few pictures but to make those pictures they want invest how to say they want me to invest the whole hour at least in the photo shoot and when i'm shooting the whole hour and my my how to say rule i don't know how to say is it the rule but i always give all the pictures okay so i'll spend in a post production at least two hours and and at the end of the day you know how to say create him a gallery upload this to the galleries and him the like it's you know it's a lot of work in general okay so i'll spend three hours or four hours for this gig and he will pay me for three pictures okay that's what that's what i'm saying it's a bullshit situation right the experience okay can you the experience with the model what what includes and how long okay how long is the experience with the models 
Usually photo shoots are one hour or two hours, depending on what you like and depending how much you spend. Okay, if you pay for one hour, your experience never be two hours. Okay, because model service is an adult service and it is priced per hour. And also it is priced by the service it includes. Okay, very often people want to pay for one hour, okay, which includes, for example, girlfriend experience. Girlfriend experience could be kissing, low job, and sex, right? And then they will figure out, oh, can I come there? Can I do this? Can I do that? You know, and everything for free. No, no, no. It's an adult service and the model knows, okay, for that for this and for this, they will they will get extra and it's no difference at my studio, okay? They don't, they, you, you don't think that you, coming to a charity organization and I am arranging here everything and you can do anything and not to pay. It's, it's, just, it's just how to say, not possible. So experience with the model includes the service, what you can afford, you know? What you pay for, if it's like going to the restaurant, okay? Maybe you want to have a banquet. Maybe you want, you know, to have this, but you just have you know, money for tea, okay? That's what you will get. You will get in the restaurant tea. No one will feed you. No one will bring you the cake, okay? No one will give you, you know, how to say a cocktail if you're not paid for this, okay? So that's why we are discussing services with the with the client and then I'm discussing services with the model. If the model is happy to work for this price and the client is happy to pay, I am booking, okay? I can't book something, right? <laughs> something what people did not pay for. It's just simple as that. So if you book that, you get that. You can upgrade and you can pay extra. You can agree with the girl, okay? If the girl is happy to do something else, bring her a bring her a perfume i always say to the client bring something to tip and then the girl will be more happy and relaxed and she of course will give you more attention and something extra men are so stupid i need to tell them this and then they will say oh so good that you told me so good that how you don't know how you don't know seriously i don't know how you don't know is it possible not sure mm. Okay, the next question. Video, what you will get if you book video and photography? What you will get if you book video and photography? Okay, you will get the full photo shoot experience. Okay, video and photography, you will get a consultation. During that consultation, I will understand what you want into this video. Okay, what exactly you want to try on that video? What exactly you want to shoot? Okay, what kind of the positions? What kind of the fantasies? What kind of the outfits? What exactly we are shooting? What it is for? Okay, what you will get? You will get the video footage. You will get the video content and you will get edited content. And again, people are so, you know, how to say slow about this. So there is a preparation for the shoot, there is a shooting time, and there is an editing time, okay? I remember I had this couple who shot threesome, and it was so funny, okay, because they paid for the model, they paid for the shoot, and then I'm asking about the post-production, you know? Would you like your video be this and this? Would you like me to mix up the scenes? Would you like me to, how to say, to do the audio? Would you like me to do the transitions? Would you like me to do shorts? Would you like me this? And to everything what I ask, okay, they say, yes, yes, yes. And I say, okay, then it's cost that and that, that much. What do you think? That someone will be sitting half a day for free, just editing uh, the, the footage and, and, and looking at all of that, you know, without any payment. I, I give basic edits, okay? I give basic edits uh, because, you know, how to say, I can't just drop the files, okay? First of all, I shoot in the raw format. I need to convert it and I need to tidy at least anyway. Okay, so I do that. In the same time, I can do more serious post-production, okay? The better, the better you, how to say, the, the better you prepare this, the more entertaining for you it will be to watch, okay? 
because edited content is always better than you know unedited do you not notice that do i need to tell anyone that this is that this is something they should consider and editing is quite pricey okay i just wanted to book someone to do me 10 reels you know and i'm looking at 10 reels it cost 800 pounds on fiverr okay and 10 reels means eight minutes edited okay eight minutes edited and i can tell you when my clients do videos and when i ask them how long they want a video they would say one hour do you fucking know how long it takes to edit one hour video that it will be no that it will be good to watch okay so they want you know how to say a great result but somehow they don't want to pay for editing it's very strange but yes it, it's time consuming it's really costly okay and uh, not everyone can afford it's just simple as that not everyone can afford okay what would a threesome shoot entail entail means include Yes, I'm not English, but I am, I kind of can guess. What the threesome should include? Threesome should include the model. <laughs> threesome should include the model, okay? It means that I will be looking for a model. I will be uh, presenting you the model. I will be agreeing, you know, because threesome should, it means that two people want to shoot with the model, okay? And it means that how to say sometimes threesome shoot can be a straight model and and can be a bisexual model threesome shoot can be a female model or can be a male model okay and that's the big model parts which it comes to arrange okay arrange agree to book that they would be on time ready and so on and so on so that's the first part is the model and then the rest is going as a normal shoot you're doing uh, you're doing preparation you're doing makeovers, you're doing dressing, styling thing, okay? You're doing uh, planning of the shoot, you're explaining how you will direct the shoot, what you would like in the shoot, okay? How we would move from one set to the other. And it's just three people, okay? Three people I am directing and they are creating certain fantasies. And of course, at the end of the shoot uh, or after the shoot, sorry, there is a post-production process so usually i book a day for a shoot and then day for a post-production and for those two days they must pay me okay because that's exactly how much it takes for me okay the day the on that day i am preparing shooting and how to say just analyzing looking through and uploading to the softwares the the footage okay and the second day i do editing and the editing consists of three uh uh, tops three levels okay so first is clean up and 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 separation the second one is the editing and the and the third one is the how to say improving you need to check the files after you know and just when you are on the third process because when everything goes like really quickly to be fair recommended for the editing process to take a break because when you are editing sexual content when people are having sex okay or people having stimulation and so on it is very hard to edit non-stop you need a break from this content okay so you know i i am doing editing editing quite quickly okay and i deliver files in a few days but in the reality i would suggest to have it edited okay and the last third final stage could be repeated after a few days when you check everything again and just, you know, how to, because it is not possible not to do a mistake when you do all these three stages, okay, in one go. And I always, when I, how to say, come down and come all fresh, you know, and, and look at this file, I, I always would say, no, no, I would change this. I would do this in a different way. This, I will do it. And then, you know, how to say, it starts all over again okay and the last question what toys equipment do you have available okay what toys and equipment toys it means sexual toys you know there will be for women 
vibrators, okay, plugs, whatever, I don't know, toys we have, the whole the whole luggage of toys we have, and, and there will be a lot of probes, but probes are related mostly to fetish and BDCM photo shoots, okay, there are a lot of probes like that. In general, there is a lot of stuff here in the studio, so, you know, you would take the whole day to shoot with everyone, okay, everything, okay, it will, it will take you to shoot everything qu quite a, some time, okay, I still have a few minutes. I answered the last question. If we have a particular request for a model's look, for a model's look, how far will the models go? Okay, this is two questions. If we have a particular request for a model's look, very quickly I can tell you about these looks and there are very particular men, okay, but also notice that the woman as well. You are not marrying this person. Okay, no, seriously, you will not have a relationship with it. You will just have a photo shoot. Okay, there are all I've met many obsessed men who think that this is my job to find the woman of his dream. Okay, so he lived 40 years and couldn't find himself a woman of his dream. So, you know, how to say he would he would book a photo shoot and then. Uh, and, and then want me to do that, okay? And I, I remember searching for one guy, searching and searching endlessly for that model. And then I thought, fuck him. No, seriously, fuck him, you know? I'm not going to do that anymore because, oh, this one is this, this one is that. To be fair, the, the biggest maybe an invaluable advice for you I can give you about the models, that the models, the look is important, but mostly is important the service, okay? Listen very carefully. The most important is the service. When model is relaxed, okay, the model has experience. The model knows how to be with the client, okay? The model doesn't look at the time, okay? The model is creative. The model is encouraging, okay? The, the, I, you know, so very often, okay, I suggest to people, don't look at the looks, she will be great for you, just trust me, you will get a, an amazing shoot, if you want this and this, book this model, and people trust me, okay, and they never, they never, you know, regret it, so that's the most important thing is, not the model's looks, but the model's service, and if you are crazy about the model's looks, I can tell you that these models cost 1,000 and up, Okay, so the problem usually with the guys I have is that they have very high requirements for the looks, but can't afford. You know, when I say this model costs 2000 you like, oh. yes, if you want that kind of the model. So they look at the model, okay, and they say, yes, exactly, that's what I want. Well, it's not five pounds. It's like, you know, you take the Rolls Royce and you like really, yes, want it. But if you have, you know, for a bicycle, no one will give it to you. As simple as that. You're not going to drive this Rolls Royce. You can look at it as much as you want. Okay. And you can convince as much as you want. I don't do any discounts for the models, especially for the adult services. Because I can tell you all the guys want to have sexual services in here. And many of pay but somehow they imagine that this should be very cheap like to go and buy a croissant and a coffee you know that's how they imagine the service should cost okay so this is the last question i have the whole line and i will be continuing answering if you like this you please leave the comment let me check if we have any questions in here i have very shy public in here okay and uh, I'm very shy public and no one is, how to say, writing me any questions. Well, you know what? You're going to get blocked then from me if you're not speaking. How I know that you are not a bot, okay? How I know that you are not a robot, okay? If you are not speaking. I just see one, one person writing me here, okay? Thank you so much for writing at least something, okay? <laughs> And I will be continuing. Actually, at the moment, I, I am on the other channel. Okay, so I need to close this channel. Thank you so much for watching. And let me say bye. And it was this video about 
uh, questions that clients ask me about the photo shoot or what they interested to find out and to know okay about the photo shoot and uh, the other videos will follow what can i say i'm happy to share more information and invest my time into answering people's questions on online okay so thank you so